Hello Aquarius, how are my aquas doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, you know, I've been sick guys, recovering from that, so that is why I've been slacking a little bit. So hope you guys are not too upset with me. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. I really, really appreciate it guys. Um, so as I always said, this is a general reading, all right? So let's, let's, you know, keep things a little logical. Let's take what we need for our situation and let's like try to make everything fit our situation, okay guys? Um, because this is a, a general reading, not a personal one, okay? Uh, if you are connected to an Aquarius, this could be playing out from your perspective, as always said, okay? So my angle is a little different here, guys, okay? Because I'm trying to get my little uh, Halloween uh, house to be seen here, okay? It actually lights up, <laughs> but uh, I need to get some batteries. <laughs> I don't have nothing to hide, guys. I'm a normal person, you know, you know, I don't care. I don't need to edit anything out. I just like to be me, and this is who I am, and take it or leave it, right? <laughs> I'm an um, Aquarius as well, for those of you who didn't know. All right, so let's get into it. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. What's coming to Aquarius in love? Aquarius. Aquarius. What is coming to Aquarius in love, please? Aquarius. 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 You know... Like the first time that uh, this husband card has came out. Some of you, this could be uh, someone that you're married to. Okay, it doesn't have to be a husband. It could be, you know, a wife as well. But then you have a final move. All right, so let's see. Bottom of the deck, we have a magnetic connection. What is coming to Aquarius in love? What is coming to Aquarius in love, angels? What do we have? What is coming to Aquarius in love, please? Aquarius. You have temperance. You may be connected to a Sagittarius or someone who has Sagittarius in their moon rising or Venus. What is coming to Aquarius in love, Aquarius? So, what is temperance, right? Temperance is often understanding. It's forgiveness. It's understanding. It's, you know, uh, moderation, you know, uh, compromise, reaching a middle, middle ground. Okay. It is also patience. Uh, temperance is a lot of things, okay? <laughs> Let's come into Aquarius in love, Aquarius. So, it could be saying, Aquarius, that um, you will get what you want with this person, um, your wishes will be fulfilled, possibly if you are one of those things that we just said, patient, understanding, compromising. What is coming to Aquarius in love? Aquarius, Aquarius. What is coming to Aquarius in love, please? Aquarius. You have the King of Pentacles, Aquarius. You could be connected to, um, oh wow, this is a beautiful reading. We connect it to a Taurus. We have Taurus twice here. Uh, Moon rising Venus, Libra. Okay, I feel like this is someone who I'm, I always read from singles and also those in a relationship because it could be interpreted in two ways. But overall, I feel like there's something about you needing to be patient, Aquarius. Okay, you needing to be understanding. Um, I I feel like sometimes you tend to overthink. Okay, which obviously we do overthink quite a bit. <laughs> Um, there may be some type of circumstance to which kind of causes you to feel this way. Now, this could have something to do with finances, career, money, or maybe the person you're dealing with um, has been very focused on that Aquarius. But for the most part, I think that this is someone who is striving uh, to give you some kind of security. They are striving to um, grow with you. Okay, They are striving to make you happy in any way possible that they can, Aquarius. Okay, Some of you, um, I'm hearing you could be pregnant. Okay, um, and you you kind of very worried. Some of you maybe this freak is in jail. Okay, because if they're in jail, I can see why you're worried. But I just feel like spirit is saying that it's okay. Just just relax. Okay, because I think everything will work itself out for the best. 
okay now if you're uh kind of worried about loyalty and, th and stuff like that faithfulness i mean king of pentacles is a faithful card okay so you don't have anything to really worry about when it comes to that all right what else for aquarius what's coming to aquarius and love aquarius there will be an opportunity here there will be something offered here um Eventually, yeah, we have the lovers could be connected to a Gemini. And for those of you, for others of you, I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of really speaking to an Aquarius that may already be in a relationship, whether it's new or old, okay? I feel like I'm talking to an Aquarius who's in a relationship. There will be marriage here if you're not married. If you're worried about if this is going to lead to marriage, it will. It sure, sure will. Uh, you just need to continue to be uh, positive Continue to be hopeful. Continue to, uh, you know, don't lose, don't lose faith, guys. Don't lose faith. Okay, uh, the star is telling you to be uh, optimistic. Okay, um, maybe your intuition already tells you that this is the person for you. That this is going to come together. That you, you know, things will be all right. And guess what? You are absolutely correct. You know, if like I said, there may be something that caused you to feel this way with this person. Whether if it's, you know, something in the past between you two, um, if it's finances, because the King of Pentacles is often someone who, who kind of, you know, very focused on, you know, securing stability. So just understand that this is this is a beautiful reading and things will definitely develop Aquarius. OK, but you just need to continue to be patient. And I know it is annoying to keep saying that, but that's what this is about, guys. If you're patient, Aquarius, this is what awaits you. This is what's going to happen. Um you know, all your desires with this person will be fulfilled um, for sure, for sure, okay? Like, say, for instance, you know, someone, um, they don't have much right now to offer you, uh, your partner, whatever. Just know in due time, they will. They really will. That Maybe they will, they will definitely turn into this King of Pentacles, okay? If you want to get married, you want to get engaged, that's going to happen. If this is a new person, you're hoping for a relationship, keep hoping because it's going to happen, guys. This is something that... You're going, you know, the Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment card. You get what you want, Aquarius. You get what you want. Okay. Um, which is very beautiful, which is a very beautiful energy, Aquarius, for sure. Okay. So we do have uh, Sagittarius, Gemini, Taurus, Aquarius like yourself, maybe Libra or Pisces. Okay. Let's clarify this uh, Eight of Swords for Aquarius in Love. Eight of Swords. Yeah, you know, there's 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 uh, something that could be influencing this connection, okay? But I feel like this person's going to be trying their hardest. To, uh, someone's going to be trying their hardest to make you happy, to appease you, to, to um, you know, fulfill your desires, Aquarius. I feel like this is someone who wants to make you happy and fulfill your needs, um, period. You know, they want to be that person for you. Now, if you're hoping for... Okay, you know, you want to settle down, have children and stuff like that. It's going to happen. But just understand, whenever the Knight of Pentacles and Pentacles show up, it's more of a slower development. But that doesn't mean that it's not happening, okay? Ace of Pentacles for Aquarius in love. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Swords reverse. Someone wants an opportunity here. That's what they want. Hangman. Okay? Now, um, you know, sometimes the lovers obviously can be about choices. If you're dealing with a third party... Um, unfortunately, I don't know. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, because I see all these cards of entrapment, eight of swords, staying right where you are. Um, and unfortunately, if it's third party, it may not really come to an end anytime soon. So what is the uh, high priestess? The ace of wands. So, you know, uh, listen, pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to the signs that you've been seeing. I feel like this person could definitely be your twin flame. Uh, if not, then just know you do have a past life connection with them regardless, okay? So this is something I feel like is meant to be, Aquarius. And sometimes you you probably get a little frustrated, and a little aggravated because you're like, man, you know, when is this going to, uh, is this going to get better? You know, am I going to get what I want with this person? Yes, you will. You will. Pay, your patience will pay off with this person and this situation. Maybe you're wondering, you know, can I trust this person again? Whatever the case may be, uh, like I said, I don't tell people what to do. But yes, you know, this this does indicate someone who wants to uh, change for the better here. 
So tell me about this temperance, please. Let me get temperance. Yeah, temperance. Spirit is telling you to be um, to be patient, okay? To uh, not give up, not lose hope because it's going to happen, Aquarius, which is beautiful. My goodness. Wow. Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. You're going to have the future of your life <laughs> with this person, Aquarius. This is the person for you. Um, this is it, guys. This is definitely it. Um, very, very, very beautiful energy going on here. Okay, so we do have some communication coming on in. And like I said, you know, you may be frustrated at times with this person. Um, forgiveness and healing, uh, divine feminine, love letter. But I think that this is definitely going to get much better. Which is why final move came out. This is the final move for you and this person. This is it. This is it, baby. <laughs> so let's get some of these cards. I feel called to pull them for Aquarius. Aquarius, please. Aquarius. Aquarius. All right, Aquarius. So we have clarity. Take time to think about your situation to gain clarity, Aquarius. Okay. What else do we have for Aquarius, please, in this love situation? Yeah. Okay. We have yin yang. Let, like the yin yang symbol, twin flames contain an aspect of each other's character within themselves. Okay. What else we have for Aquarius? So, like I said, this could definitely, you could definitely be in a relationship with your twin flame. Okay. For sure. What else for Aquarius, please? Uh, there may have to be some major decisions that you both will have to make as well as what I'm kind of hearing. Um, so, yeah. But then we have... Nope, that's not the one I meant to come out. Spiritual. Your spiritual journey is beginning. This is a spiritual connection, Aquarius. Okay. We have deeply, look deeply within to discover your soul purpose in your relationships and finally there's something about trust here okay you need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish so you know maybe this could be as a result of uh trust issues and things like this but it's telling you that you need to trust aquarius trust uh that this is going to happen for you trust that you will get what you want with this person trust that this is meant to be uh because it is guys it surely is. Okay. All right. So this is someone who more than likely will end up being your husband or your wife. Okay. So as soon as I cut the deck, we have, please be patient with me, committed. So you, this is a committed relationship, Aquarius. Okay. They're committed to you. Maybe they just want you to be patient with them, okay? Or, you know, they will be uh, offering you a committed relationship. All right, what does this person want to tell Aquarius, please? What does this person want to tell Aquarius? Aquarius. So we have let me love you better so this freak wants to let you okay that you love them better well sorry they want you to let them love you better okay so tell them your mind you're theirs okay they want to know if you can meet up they're nervous to talk to you Aquarius what do we have could be connected to a Libra you have financial yeah there could be something about a financial obligation here uh you know money money situations okay um, what else do we have for Aquarius? So some of you, you're worried that you're wasting your time with this freak, okay? You're worried. I don't think that you are, Aquarius. Wine and dine. Like I said, now, this is Aquarius. Um, for those of you who may be dealing with a third-party situation, um, like I said, it may definitely be a waste of your time at this point, okay? Um, I'm not, you know, saying to wait around for someone who needs to get a divorce, First thing on my mind in the morning, what else do we have? We have starting a relationship. 
What else do we have about to pursue you? We have a Capricorn here. What else for Aquarius, please? Okay. Yeah. So you have sharing feelings. So this person wants to... How the hell did I just do that? Oh. <laughs> how the hell did I... Man, I should just throw that thing like a Frisbee. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, guys. So, I mean, that is pretty much the overall... Uh, energy here my loves okay patience is going to pay off with this person um it's definitely going to develop you know it is a little frustrating dealing with a knight of pentacles type of person but uh just know it's gonna happen it's gonna happen um i think you're definitely in a right relationship i think this is beneficial for you to stay with this person and to you know work it out whatever the case may be so don't give up <laughs> anyway that's what i have for you aquarius i hope you guys enjoyed this reading thank you for tuning in talk to you guys soon